let me open a can of worms right at the beginning of this video. The audio soft and hardware industry, in my opinion, is pretty much stagnating. Sample libraries need fast drives, lots of memory, and CPU power. Plugins need lots of CPU power and occasionally memory. Of course, cool stuff is almost happening on a daily basis, but the process is always the same since basically the dawn of time. Now, I probably know what you're about to say and I don't want to drop any names here, but we all know that there are companies or specifically one company out there producing hardware that is able to outsource the needed plugin processing power to external hardware devices. No question, people feel happy with the quality of their products, all fine, all good, but additional expensive hardware. By the way, let's very quickly talk about another piece of software that actually hasn't anything to do with making music. OBS, a software to produce videos and live streams. In fact, I'm using it right now to produce this video here. If you look at OBS, it does something very cool. It grabs the GPU power, meaning the power available in your graphic card to outsource specific processes, such as all the final rendering of your video stream. The result, your CPU has to work less and your GPU acts like an additional processing unit. The thing is, this already happens for quite a few years now and it kind of made me think, why isn't there any company out there doing the same for audio plugins? I mean, think of it like this. You are producing music within a digital audio workstation, which is by far one of the most resource intensive processes ever. Simply because all of these massive sample libraries and plugins have to be also handled in real time. And while your CPU, your hard drives and your memory is working like crazy, your GPU, your graphic card processing power, literally sitting next to them, being on vacation, having cocktails on the beach. I mean, isn't that kind of crazy? Depending on what graphic card you have, you got all these resources, all this power available that is basically just eating dust on a virtual shelf all day long. But then along came GPU audio. Are you curious right now? It gets even better because you can download their beta suite for free from the GPU audio website. I put the link down in the video description. So this modulation processing bundle includes classic modulation effects processing to give you character and variation to the sound of your tracks, buses and masters. However, in this video, I don't want to pay too much attention to the plugins and the sound itself, but giving you a demonstration of how, in my opinion, revolutionary this is. So let me first introduce you to the GPU audio container plugin. This is, as the name implies, a container and you have 10 insert slots down here and you can pick from a little list here, a chorus, phaser or a flanger. Please keep in mind, this is beta and there is probably more coming. So there's another cool feature that is pretty cool, but that I had to learn from the team. You can change the size of the plugin pretty easily. All you have to do is hold the shift and the control key and then use your mouse wheel and you can quickly change the size of the plugin. So the first time when you open it, it may appear to be pretty huge almost consuming the entire screen. So please keep that in mind and change the size to whatever you want it. So now let's have a quick listen to the plugins here. Let's load the chorus for a second here. Let's bypass and listen to this little track here. Also, you have several presets, fast presets up here for a guitar. If you click that, you pick that one. If you click it again, you pick the second one, the third and the fourth. You also got the same available for synth and also vocal and drums, just to have a few fast presets available. Now let's check the phaser pretty quickly. I'm bypassing, turning it on. So you get the idea, it's a phaser. So I actually want to get to the revolutionary part of the video, so let's quickly check out the flanger here and pick a few presets.
Okay, so this sounds pretty cool already. Please keep in mind you have these slots down here so you can easily combine, for example, a flanger and a chorus or whatever you want to do. So if you like it, if you want to test it for yourself, make sure to head over to the GPU audio website and download the beta suite. And now let's get to that revolutionary part. Okay, so you may be curious what I did above here. So you can see that there are 10 red tracks and then we have another 10 green tracks. It's always the same track, but the first 10 red tracks are filled with 10 insert effects on each channel. The plugin I used is a flanger from another company and it actually doesn't matter at all because it consumes CPU power as basically every other plugin. So just to recap, we have 100 effects going on on these first 10 tracks. Now I have opened the first container plugin and as you can see, I filled all 10 slots with the flanger here. And since we have 10 green tracks, we basically all in all have 100 flangers loaded also. Okay, so just to sum it up again, the first First 10 red tracks contain 100 CPU consuming plugins. Whereas on the other side, the 10 green tracks contain 100 GPU consuming plugins by GPU audio. So as you can see over here, the CPU is hovering around between seven and 10 or six to 10%. Also, please keep in mind that recording the video right now consumes also CPU, but also GPU since I'm doing this in OBS. So below here, and I want you to let you know that the GPU, the graphic processing unit of the graphic card is always active. It can easily jump to 98 or 99% by just sitting there. This is how this works and you don't need to pay attention to the GPU itself. It's just on the page here. What is important is the CPU actually. So now let's activate all the plugins at once from the red tracks, the CPU consuming plugins and see what is going on with the CPU here. So you can see right now that it's rising already to like 12%. It doesn't do anything more, but it definitely moved up from six, seven, eight to nine, 10, and is hovering around here. If I deactivate them all again, you can easily see that the CPU is going down to six. Also, please keep in mind, it doesn't make any difference if the GPU audio plugins need more resources or the other flanger needs more resources. What is important is how the CPU behaves. Okay, so now let me activate the 100 other plugins here and see what happens with the CPU. Doesn't move a single bit. So let's do this test right now again and let's pay attention to the ASIO guard that is activated right now in Cubase here. And as you can see, it goes up a little bit. So we can assume that this plugin in general needs that much power, all of these plugins. So when we activate all of the plugins over here, you can see that the ASIO guard is actually moving a little higher. So we can assume that the GPU audio plugins even need more power, more resources than the other flanger. And that actually makes it a little bit more awesome because you can use very resource intensive plugins and just outsource it to the GPU. So imagine how awesome this would be in the upcoming future if your CPU can fully focus on the digital audio workstation and all its internal processes while you automatically outsource all or most of the plugins that you're using to the graphic card that basically doesn't do anything anyway while you're composing music. So I don't know that much, but if I know anything, I would safely say that this company, GPU Audio, has the potential to change the entire audio world. Okay, you know the deal. If you like this video, I would be really happy if you give it a thumbs up. It drastically helps me to grow my channel and present you more videos like this. And also, did you know that 60% of my viewers are not even subscribed to my channel. So I would be happy if you changed that. Just subscribe to this channel. And I thank you so much for checking out this video. See you soon on another video. See you soon on another video. Bye for now.